Hello there and welcome to this week's edition of Bistec, where we bring you exciting discussions with entrepreneurs and business moguls, as well as business stories that made the headlines this week, right here on Ghana Web TV. My name is Na Oyokwote. Let's get straight to business. Gardening, including flower pot making, is one of the fastest growing businesses in the capital Accra. Usually displayed by the roadside, one cannot help but admire the different types of designs of a one-of-a-kind hand-painted clay and cement gardening pots, neatly arranged by the craftsmen who make and sell them. Homes, churches and restaurant owners search for these unique artifacts to beautify their spaces. Our reporter, Ernestina Sewa Asante, engages these craftsmen who express that they love what they do. Have you wondered how the beautiful flower pots you see on the streets and in shops are made? Well, today on Bistec, we are going to find out from these flower pot makers what really goes into the making of the pot, how business is faring, amongst others, right here on Bistec. I have with me a craftsman who is going to take us through the process in making beautiful flower pots. You are welcome to this tech. Thank you. Okay, so can you take us through the process? Yeah. When you want to start a flower pot, this is the mode. Okay. So you mix sand, raw sand, which can be compressed. You add more water, <laughs> then you mix it. After that, then you pour it inside the mold, then you pound it to compress. Then you take off the mold. After that, then you mix more water. Yeah, with cement, smooth sand. After that, then you you hit it around the mold to get the pot okay. mm, before you dress it. So when you pound the sand in the mold, it gives you this shape. Yeah, it gives you this shape. Okay, After then that, yeah, you put the mortar around it. Yeah. Then you use the mortar around it to get your beautiful pot. To but get this it's dried. If it's dried before you can take the sand out of it, then okay. you get your pot. So from this stage, we get to this stage? Yeah, you get to this stage. Okay. Then before you come and dress it, you have to rub it. But we haven't finished now. So before you rub it, then you dress it. Okay. What inspires this design? Okay. This design... People came and then they said they like the snake one. At first we used to do the plain one. Okay. Yeah, but someone came and then he showed us this picture online and we, we came out with the design. In the so, snake one. so this is called the snake pot. Okay. Yeah. So when it's dried, when it's dry, then you take it down. Then you remove the soil from it before you get your pot. When it's dry and you take it out, you get this one. Oh, okay. Mm, something like that. Yeah. So this one, it will be waste. After that, you don't need it anymore. We bring some of the sun here. Then we pour it inside. Then we just pound it for some minutes. When it is full, then we use wood just to hit here, 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 and here. Then we bring this one out. Mm. Yeah, so you see the sand there. In this form? Yeah, so there is sand inside. Mm. Uh -huh. So after that, then we mix the water. Then we just do like we are doing plastering. Okay, so after the plastering, then we have something that we used to smooth it to make it smooth. Okay. Yeah, okay. So how do you pick this from the ground? We, we, we use uh, this wood to hit the, the side here, yeah. the four side, okay. for some just for, for some minutes. Then we bring it out. We just bring it out. Then we take the sun out of it. Yeah. Then, then it we will get. Give us what shape? Yeah. Then it will give us. Something like, like this. this, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how many hours or days does it take to, yeah, make something like this? Oh, if you wanted to do mold, let's say, just like this type, um, let's say by two hours you would done. If you are two, one hour, but if you are just only one, for that one you suffer. Yeah. For how many pieces? This one is eighteen. Yeah, for one bag of cement. Oh, one 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 bag be a travel with it twelve. Twelve. Hmm. They be two bags a day. Mm. It, it depending 
platform. No. So it's only a bit more than two bags. Well, what type of type? Your medium, your large, and then your way. When you keep to a room, when you last size, then you say one bag be our banya by a twelve port room. The fans of why we need be at least four days and the way in a ten nothing. Yes, I am. So we are not any free more. Next stage near day. Next day, no other town, where we are. Then I am painting and you know, painting. We say, I want our pedia, every painting amount. Then finally say, Yes, have you been in this business? Okay, me like some three years now. But my boss has been working with us, been inside more than 20 years now. Oh, say three years, yeah. So how long have you been in the business? <laughs> uh, to be frank, I'm a, I'm a, 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 a this thing. Finance student, I have uh, 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 this thing, master's in finance. Wow. Just that, because you know Ghana, we don't have, I mean, job in the system. I've worked with many companies, but Airtel before. I've worked with um, a certain microfinance company called Sim before. And then we got to a time I decided to go on my own, uh, own way. I decided to venture into port making. Yeah. That is how I got in. But I've been doing this thing for 30, 30, roughly 30 years now. It gets to this stage, what happens next? This stage, uh, we have just finished with it now. No painting, nothing? Okay, you can paint it, if, but some people like it raw. They don't need paint. So if you want to paint, you can paint, paint it. Mm. Yeah, but, but, it's, but it's not everybody who like it with the paint. So any design you want after this one, then you can do the design on it. We are the designers or who put beauty to the pot. Any color that you want, you have to set the background for the color before you put the, before you put the second layer of the color and then the third one which makes it to be like what is on the shelves there. Uh -huh. So the post, it depends on the effects that you want to have on the pot. If you want to the paint to be lighter, you have to, I mean, go through it like this. Let's say my, my brother have gone through the layer of the, uh, this thing, the first layer. Okay. That's the first layer. This is the second layer. So the second layer, you just have to dip your brush into your paint. Then you rub it on the board or anything that you have around. Then you just have to brush it like this brush it like this to give you the effect the effect is the black beneath and then the what the bronze like the bronze on it okay. so the black and bronze give us some particular effects not to look flat ah uh, i don't think that cement there no moon paint here oh cement one here one thing i don't say no it be a way 60 series last year 50 but the same clay now it is saying which matter on over 120 Look at the paint now, the paint is a mental one now. And it's a rubber boca. But with the paint, the same clay one now. And it's a little mini a crow or so. And then my own paint. And I'm most now, say I know, be a more pen. If you're supposed to see a paint, yeah, one or two color bar. If you paint your mouth, you paint your mouth as well. No more difference since I had it here. This effect, normally we call it ancient colors. Something that the painter that have been there for a long, 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 long time. Okay. Normally people call it antique colors, but it depends on how you name it. Yes. With but the painting, paint. Mm -hmm. Is it a normal painting that we use in our various rooms, or this is different? Um, uh, they are not the normal paints that we use for. Some of them are not the normal paints that we use for our room. Some of them are for cars. Uh, for I mean some other uh, metals, okay. uh -huh. but the room ones that you are talking about, the room paints are the colors that she, the color that she's doing, the background that she's doing for those pots. Okay. How is types being now auto? Uh, it does. Me wo fen, me wo tuja, me wo star rocket, me wo cream palm, visha palm, royal palm, creeping willow. The name of the it does. Me wo red palm, you know, uh, 
there no motor power. Oh, flower no the flower no the season be an any time plant or motor. Sometimes near man will be a whoa or monto, but who be who will be a quack or year now the air arrangement. I have a now season a samba. We have uh, plenty different flowers which others don't have. Now, environment is nice, it looks nice because of that, you know, many people came here to buy. Uh, oh, we have rose flower. We have a tija, the Christmas tree one, and the pencil. Uh, we have aloe vera. There are plenty. We could be here. There are plenty. So, which one do customers or buyers buy the more? Oh, uh, for the Ethiopian, they buy more. And also the tija. Yeah. Can we have a chance? Yeah. This one does what? It's a round shape. Okay. And this one, the pencil one. It goes straight. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, which one is for the Christmas tree? Christmas. Oh, okay. So now we know it's called what? Tija. Hey, okay. Hey. And what's the name of this one? Well, it's uh, Five Horse. Five Horse. Uh, for, for making edges. Oh, okay. Uh, How about this one? This one? Yeah. We call it uh, Lily. Oh, okay. I see. This one is. And so, how much does it cost? Roughly, this one will cost two by one twenty for one. Yes. Okay, I say create one. Oh, baby, this and it will be see inside, outside. The cement one is going to be from core inside or inside. And I'm a. Cray one, no boss wording, essence cement. The amount for Shadam Pen, not to say Cray one. People are buying, and they are also, even the, the gardeners are also, those who have the shop, they are also calling, uh, calling to come and do for them. Yes, so they are buying, yeah, ask for the pot, they are buying. Queen of the night, oh, as long last. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. And this is foreign. So the queen of the night, when it's in the night, what happens? Oh, oh I'm curious to know what happens. It's not a new it's it just a new. Does it have a like yeah. this scent? So right now if I try to let me let me have it. Okay, it's not bad. So this one, how much do you sell it? We sell it uh, for 20 cents. What are some of the challenges you faced so far? Okay. A lot of challenges. Everything there is there is a lot of challenges yeah. in it. Okay, sometimes where you have to go and do the pot. If we are doing it in our own site and then people come and buy, that one is quite easy. But sometimes you have to travel to places mm -hmm. like the mountains and stuff. Yeah, so that one you have to go through a lot of stress. Even when you get to the person's place. Maybe there's no platform over there to do the work on it. So that's and those are the challenges that we go through. Mm. How about the issue of thiefery? Are you talking about stealing? Yes, yeah, stealing. you can't come and store these heavy pots. We do very big, big, big ones. So you can't come and store unless you bring car to carry them. So as for stealing, yeah, we don't normally have problem with that. But you sometimes do. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Mm. As for that one, yeah, there are bad people all over. So. One thing is the competition is everybody is selling pots, and we have pots within pots. <laughs> this one is coming from Vota region. Wow. 
this pot is coming from water region. We have two places that we take pot from Vota region and Mankasim. This one is from Vota region. Their clay is somehow, I mean, it's unwashed clay that they've used to bake this one. But those that are coming from the one, the one that my pots, they are coming from Mankasim. It's very neat, very, I mean, if you, there's no faults on it. But this one's, you have to mend them, you have to do so many things on them before you come out with the, I mean, end products. But the other ones, immediately you finish, it can take you less than one hour to do, I mean, 20 or 10. A challenge is a man who 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 is a Young Casano, and he didn't hear because he needs car. The challenges when it started raining, you can't do it unless you stop when the rain, when the rain finishes. You've made something like this and it rains. What happens? You, you, you made something like this and it rains. It's fine, it's okay. Uh, like three days or two days, you can leave it. Three days or two days, you can remove it. But when you are doing the mold and it rains, that one it worries you. Or when you are done with the mold and you want to do the plastering, that one too. When it is ready to, you can do it. There are a lot of teas here. You buy cement, you put down, then the next day somebody will just cover the ticket. Just only last week, uh, Monday, two bags of cement. They take some before this one, too. so four bags a week. The most important is the pricing. You can see somebody around here. There are so many pot sellers around here. Something that you you are selling, like what I mentioned, 120. You go to the next person, he's selling it 60 cities, 80 cities. Those are the challenges that we face. Meanwhile, we, we buy from the same source. So if you are saying I'm selling this one for 120, and if you are selling it, definitely there will be, I mean, uh, more buyers. To the other person than me. But if you are if you are buying from the same source, mm -hmm. what prevents you from also selling at 60 cities or 80 cities, and then your pricing is higher than that? Of it, your it depends on the uh, the uh, how much you bought the the biscuit, like this. How much you bought the things that went in, the transportation cost, and all those. Those who are coming in don't have much experience. They are just coming in because. They need job one they need money two so if you start and anything that you see that you think can fetch you money or any price the person will give you that you think you can part away with you can just go ahead and do that who are your target audience is it the churches restaurants very like the homes especially the homes it goes around everybody comes around even people church come around even stadium, big, big office. Yeah, so it goes around. It's not just at one place. We even travel to so many places. Takrade, Kumase, Vota region. We travel to so many places to go and do it for people. The houses, companies, so many places. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the what motivates you to keep doing this work? I love flowers. So, if you love flowers, my boss is also a fan of flowers. So, he motivated me to get into it. It's very difficult. So, normally the guys don't like doing the pot because of the stress in it. Yeah. But now, my boss just love it and then it motivated me um the motivation is first you have to learn more as you see this this colors you can see them around everywhere that you go but the one the one that i just showed to you 
those ones you cannot get them anywhere apart from Richard from for rich design ports so when you, you, you want some you get in touch with me Richard design or Richard at email.com after DHS um, I find myself staying with a lot of people and I did it with uh, one of my madam that I stay with so I know if I go into it I know what I will get out of it that's why you've seen how these beautiful flower pots which line up the streets are made the aesthetic pieces come in two forms the clay and the cement although the production process is very tedious these craftsmen go all length to make sure they come out with masterpieces if you are embarking on any beautification project in your office homes or even in the churches don't forget to pass by to get any of these beautiful flower pots to complete your project nst nasawa asante reporting for bistec on ghana web tv On Tech Bits today, Jefferson tells us about some internet tools that can make life a whole lot easier for us in this coronavirus era. Hello there. My name is Jefferson Senior from Aftal Music. This week on Tech Bits, we're going to start a series of internet tools that I think would be very useful to your everyday works of life, whether it's for leisure, personal, or even business. Tools that have been hidden in the jam, they're not as popular as your normal ones, but very, very useful. This week, we're gonna start with a tool called Loom. It's an internet website for video messaging. Video messaging with a different point of view. So let's dive into it. Once you jump on the Loom website, that's L-O-O-M again, uh it's the main thing is saved with the video so whether it's a work presentation whether you're trying to show something to someone in these trying times is always now that everybody's working from home loom seems to be the best way to go because with this tool you are able to actually video something on the browser just the same way i am communicating with you uh and send it to someone so that they even view them but the best part about loom is that you can do your presentation and it's almost like your usual youtube where the videos are actually uploaded on the loom server so signing up is very very easy uh i'll just we'll just go through the whole sign up and you see how it is so you just say sign in here and you have got the option to sign up with google with slack or with apple or you just use your normal uh email signing so with this i'll just go to with signing with google which will be much quicker and we will just say sign in i have already signed up so that so this is your web interface so how loom works is that it's it it lets you capture your presentation and does your presentation for you on your desktop so you to record a video and post to loom it has to use either a downloaded version or a browser extension normally it has a browser extension whether it's firefox or Google Chrome. So once you click record a video, it will tell you, do you want our desktop app or do you want our uh, Chrome extensions? Uh, I'm using Google Chrome. So in this case, to make it easier, you just click on Google Chrome. Uh, installing extensions, Google Chrome is quite very straightforward. There's even a little video here explaining how Loom works for you. It's very, very straightforward. I'll even just open it up. Hey there, my name is Lauren from the Loom team and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get started with our Loom Chrome extension. So. Once you install the extension, simply launch it by clicking the Loom icon here. Exactly. You'll then be presented with our three capture modes. Screen and cam, like I'm recording with at the moment. Screen only, if you're feeling a little bit camera shy. And cam only, if you'd like to present directly to camera. Hit show advanced options if you'd like to change your camera source, your microphone source. And once you're ready, just click start recording. Select so I'll just pause it right there. and. From there, it's very straightforward. All you just need to do is add the extension and start recording your screens and your presentations. It's a very great tool to actually uh, 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 be able to be productive and work from home. So I really recommend Loom for everyone uh, in the business sector. 
So that's it for this week. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Ghana's monetary policy rate still remains 14.5%. About 90% of businesses are reported to have recorded a reduction in sales during the lockdown of parts of the country. And Ghana is set to receive 92.9 million euros grant from European Union. Let's now take a look at these and more stories that made business headlines this week. The Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, has announced a decision by the Monetary Policy Committee to keep its policy rate unchanged at 14.5%. This comes after the committee held a three-day deliberation to initiate proposals for the formulation of the monetary policies of the central bank. Speaking at a press briefing on Monday, September 28, 2020, Dr. Addison explained the decision was based on the drivers of economic growth returning to normal prospects for a good recovery. In sum, the drivers of economic growth are returning to normal with prospects for a good recovery. Monetary and fiscal policies have been supportive, providing the necessary underpinnings for the economy to withstand the negative output shock arising from the pandemic. However, this has come at the cost of moving away from the consolidation path and could pose a risk to long-term macroeconomic stability if decisive measures are not taken to define a feasible fiscal adjustment to stabilize debt. Under the circumstances, the committee's view is that the risks to the immediate outlook for inflation and growth are broadly balanced and decided to keep the policy rate unchanged at 14.5%. A new survey by the Ghana Statistical Service has revealed that about 90% of local businesses recorded poor sales during the lockdown of some parts of the country. The survey dubbed COVID-19 Local Economist Tracker Wave 1 gives a general overview of the performance of businesses and localities during the lockdown period. The GSS indicated that about 72 and 90 percent of local businesses saw a reduction in production and sales respectively. From the local economy tracker perspective, we equally find that production and sales have also gone down or went down for that matter during the period of COVID-19. Specifically, we saw border districts getting the highest um, reduction in sales and getting the highest reduction in production. At least 9 out of 10 localities in border districts indicated a reduction in sales and at least 7 out of 10 localities in border districts indicated a reduction in their production. This is what from our point of view would give us a sense of how we can into the future begin to compute our GDP at the local level and that, would, that is what we're going to put together to give us our GDP at the regional level. Vice President Dr. Mahamud Dubaumia has commended the Central Bank and the Finance Ministry for working to ensure that the Ghana city stayed afloat despite the COVID-19 pandemic and the country's preparation toward the December 7th election. According to Dr. Baumia, this has changed the debate about the city, which characterizes the nation any time there's an election. He noted that the very splendid result of the Ghanaian city is as a result of the monetary policies the Bank of Ghana introduced and the larger contribution from the finance ministry. Dr. Baumia, the chairperson of the economic management team of President Ekufado's cabinet, further argued that the financial sector cleanup has also changed the financial sector for the better and is evident in Ghana consistently recording better trends in interest rates, exchange rates, depreciation, and inflation. Still on the CD, the Bank of Ghana has warned the general public against online trading of Ghana CD notes and coins currently in circulation. According to the Central Bank, it is the only institution with the right to issue and redeem Ghana CD notes and coins in the country. According to Article 183, one of the 1992 Constitution and Sections 35 of the Bank of Ghana Act 2002, Act 612, as amended. 
In a statement, the Bank of Ghana said any person who buys or sells or offers or attempts to buy or sell any Ghana City note or coin at or for a lower rate than its face value or for an amount exceeding the face value commits an offence. An individual will be liable on summary conviction to a term of imprisonment not exceeding 10 years or to a fine not exceeding 2,000 penalty units or both in accordance with the Currency Act 1964, Act 242, as amended, BOG stated. It however said the notice is not applicable to persons who engage in money exchange for the purpose of making denominations available to others who need them. Ghana has signed a 92.9 million euros budget support agreement with the European Union. The agreement, which is in two parts, consists of an 87 million euros grant intended to support Ghana's emergency response to COVID-19. The EU ambassador to Ghana, Dinah Akonsia, speaking at the signing ceremony in Accra of September 30, 2020, explained the support takes keen cognizance of the shortfalls of Ghana's revenue in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Finance Minister Ken Oferiata, who signed the agreement on behalf of the government of Ghana, said the support by the EU complemented government's efforts to restore the economy from the long-lasting impact of the coronavirus pandemic. I think our president wrote to a number of your leaders uh, about the need to really look at the SDRs um, for the World Bank, um, IMF, um, that um, such facilities um, should be reprogrammed um, to enable um, us, uh, Africa, get a lot more resources um, to avoid uh, moving into a depression uh, from the recession um, that, that we have. Okay. Okay. Elbow. Elbow? Elbow. Oh, there we go. That's what I reminded. I think we need this picture. <laughs> It's a wrap for this week's edition of Bistec, but log on to www.ghanaweb.com. Get interactive with us on all our social media platforms at the Ghana Web, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ghana Web TV. Thanks for watching. My name is Na Oyokote. Have a great weekend.